Hi, good morning. I'm Rob Morrow here at Duran Chevrolet with our salespeople, Mike Peliquin, Brian Butker, Mark Rebidu, and Sal Acasio. Here to do our version of the Cruise Palooza. And starting out, Brian Butker. The first thing you're going to notice is the bold, dramatic exterior styling of the newly uh, integrated two-tiered grill and the iconic bow tie logo, the Chevy signature look. So we've got a nice new aggressive appearance here on this car. You notice there's a generous use of chrome to give it that upscale look. Aggressively styled wraparound halogen composite headlamps, plenty of visibility at night driving, and you have a minimum front overhang, so it's a nice clean look, a nice finish to the car. Uh, Fog lamps are available to provide additional uh, lighting and inclement weather in that RS package. And of course the standard daytime running lamps for safety automatically illuminate to help the vehicle more visible to others and pedestrians. So that's the bold look of the new Chevrolet Cruze. Well, thank you, Brian. Okay, we've got Mark Rebidu. That's going to do our under the hood. Under the hood, Cruise offers two engines. 1.8 liter four cylinder dual overhead cam, 138 horsepower engine for the LS, and the 1.4 liter dual overhead cam turbocharged four cylinder engine for the uh, LT. And that one delivers uh, also 138 horsepower, but it also delivers 148 foot, -pound, foot pounds of torque, which is 25 more foot pounds of torque than the uh, 1.8 liter four cylinder. That is, uh, torque is what you actually feel in the seat of your pants when you step on the gas. Uh, variable valve timing is uh, utilized on both engines, which enhances uh, fuel, fuel efficiency throughout. Uh, the turbocharger on the 1.4 liter is actually housed uh, right within the uh, exhaust manifold, uh, which reduces any turbo lag uh, that you might have experienced in the past with other turbocharged engines. Um, a timing chain is used on both engines, which also reduces um, use uh, or need for um, uh, maintenance uh, like on other uh, competitor engines where they use a chain they have to be maintained uh, quite often uh, six-speed manual transmission is used as well as automatic transmission depending on what you choose for your transmission um, the driver shift control uh, is available as well which uh, allows you to use the uh, automatic transmission kind of like a, uh, a manual transmission and on the eco version of the cruise engine, you get actually get 40 miles per gallon on that version if you go with that, that type of setup on the drivetrain. So now we're going to move to the interior of the vehicle with Sal Acasio. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Mark. More interior room than its key competitors in the compact segment. Ten airbags, including dual-stage driver and front passenger airbags. Front knee airbags. Full-length side curtain airbags with rollover protection. Front and rear seat-mounted side impact airbags. Standard AM-FM stereo with radio and single-disc CD MP3 audio playback with auxiliary input jack includes internal four-channel amplifier RDS and six speakers. Available Pioneer's premium sound system includes 250 watt amplifier and nine speakers. Available audio system with navigation includes seven screen voice recognition and 40 gigabytes of hard drive media storage. Available Bluetooth phone interface enables driver to make Hands-free cell phone calls within vehicle requires Bluetooth capability, phone and initial setup. OnStar includes six months directions and connection service, which provides access to emergency and convenient service. Includes turn-by-turn -turn navigation. All right, Sal. Thank you very much. All right, and now we've got Mike Peliquin with uh, driver's side. Driver's side. You may ask, what is the suspension on this vehicle? Well, it has an independent McPherson front and technically advanced semi-independent rear compound crank beam axle designed with Z-Link, which provides responsive handling. 
There's a front wheel drive vehicle, which enhances the traction since the weight of the powertrain is located over the driver wheels. Variable assist rack mounted electric power rack and pinion steering is a, makes for a more responsive, lighter, and quieter than hydraulic steering systems. Standard ABS and available four wheel disc brakes provide firm, positive braking and reduced brake fade. Stabilitrack stability control system helps maintain stability when system detects oversteer or understeer to help keep the vehicle on intended path. All right. Well, thank you very much, Mike. Okay, we'll go back to Brian Butka to the uh, passenger side of the vehicle. That's right, Rob. If you notice right away, there are different wheels available in sizes depending upon the trim level. There is a 16-inch, a 17-inch, and an 18-inch. This happens to be an example of a 1LT with the 16-inch alloy wheels. Uh, so there are five different wheel designs altogether. One wheel design features wheel covers and the other four are for alloy wheels. You'll also notice that the door handles and the body uh, mirrors on the exterior are in this case uh, colored. So they're the colored exterior mirrors. You also have the option of having chrome, depending upon the trim level, as well as a black, also depending upon the trim level. The mirrors can also be heated, uh, depending upon uh, if you choose a 2LT or an LTZ, so that's a feature that's available in that package of that trim level. You'll also notice that distinctive style continues with what we refer to as a single arc roof line to keep that sleek body appearance going. And even available above and beyond that in the IRS package, you can have some additional moldings done on the rocker panels down below to give it that really sporty look. If we continue to the rear of the vehicle, you can either open the trunk by the keyless on the uh, remote or just use the above the license plate the uh, handle to, by pressing the handle and that'll open up the trunk release. You'll notice as we have in all our Chevy vehicles we have a nice low entry to get things in and out of easily uh, to give you a lot of nice room in the back of that trunk space. You also have an available rear park assist to help you in the backing up and parking situations. It happens to be standard on LTZ and available on a 1LT, a 2LT as well as the Eco package. Also, while we're looking at the rear of the car, there is a tow package available with a thousand pounds small trailer, so you do have some capability and extra utility there as well. A rear spoiler is also available on this vehicle. This particular one does not have it, but it would help with the fuel economy as well as the good looks on that uh, RS package as well. So that's pretty much it. You have the new Chevrolet Cruze. Okay, well, thank you very much, Brian, and uh, that's going to conclude our demonstration.